Hey there, folks. Chuck here. And uh, it's a bit of a bittersweet unboxing for me. Um, this is going to be my last official unboxing with this channel uh, as we know it. Because we are down at the end of the year. And uh, that means this channel is changing. Um, but I think you're going to really like how it's going to change. So um, you'll still be able to find me here. Uh, I am going to be continuing to do my builds and unboxes, but they are going to be part of a new series of uh, shows uh, that are going to be running on what this channel is going to be renamed as, and that is the Diecast Media Network. And why the Diecast Media Network, you ask? Well, you know, I am doing this uh, podcast project with... Dotson Man Diecast and Twice Diecast, aka uh, Mark and David, whom you may already know. And um, I was looking at ways to launch the show, and um, I think the easiest way for us to do that is kind of to do what Mark did and put his podcast on his YouTube feed. Uh, so he doesn't have to build a whole bunch more subscribers again. And uh, I think that since this is going to be primarily, uh, since I'm kind of the main producer of the show, um, I volunteered my channel to do that. So we have our best chance possible of reaching as many of you as possible with this new show. So, um, so be sure to stay here, hit the bell and pay attention because the logo is going to change and the channel name is going to change. But I also didn't want my channel to just become the um, podcast show or to have people confused as to um, you know what this channel was about so uh, what it's going to become is the diecast media network and that is going to uh, outline uh, my builds the podcast at least the video portion of the podcast um, unboxes, reviews, and I'm looking for uh, builders who would like to submit guest videos so I can highlight guest builds and guest collection videos and basically have a series of shows on one YouTube channel for diecast folks to enjoy. So i um, curious to know what you would think of that or if you had any ideas or suggestions, please let them know. Let me know in the comments or you can email me at flyingvaliant at gmail.com. So in the meantime, I'm going to talk a little bit more about that. But uh, this is from Jeff again. Uh, you may have seen my previous videos from his eBay store. And um, so I bought some stuff from him and he sent me um, some more die cast uh, in a big box, which you saw earlier. So we're going to look at the ones that I purchased first because um, he has a really good prices on his channel or on his uh, his store for new and used die casts. But um, I picked up some some favorites of mine that I would like to customize or customize again. You know, I've already done this one, but I just love this uh, this design so much. And this is another one that I just I pick up whenever I find a really good condition one. And this one is in beautiful shape. Uh, I just love that forklift. So, uh, so yeah, so I'm putting the finishing touches on the pilot episode of the podcast now and, um, found another one of these. I love this road champs casting, uh, by the way, it's like a Plymouth Voyager. They made it as an airport shuttle and it's kind of hard to find as the airport shuttle, but, um, the monster trucks are a little easier to come by for some reason. Um, so anywho, um, so yeah, what uh, like I said, what we're doing is we will be doing the podcast uh, one day a week. Uh, ideally, Saturday will be the goal. And it's going to be an hour-long show. It's going to feature me, David, and Mark. And we're going to take turns kind of taking lead on each episode. And um, we're going to go through uh, basically anything diecast related diecast news the first part of the show is going to be diecast news and announcements uh stuff that's going on with us stuff that's coming out on uh new products that we're excited about whether it's for um diecast cars or for customizing diecasts or if there's new um 
new stuff that is worth highlighting. This is an old majorette, by the way. I thought this was really cool. It's a weird tanker thing. Um, so that's going to be the first section of the show. The second section of the show is going to be a um, roundtable discussion between the three of us and possibly a guest co-host, uh, depending on the topic. This is an old Real Riders Rampage. You know, the new one is out, but uh, I love this one. I like the uh, trike facing backwards better. And this is the version that had this was the premium with the Real Riders and the metal base. Uh, just love this casting. So, um, so that's going to be the second section. So if you have any ideas on um, topics for that or discussion things, uh, please leave them in the comments because we are we are eagerly looking for ideas there. Um, and then the third section is going to be an interview portion where we will be talking to uh, folks in the diecast community and diecast culture. We've already got um, a few really big ones lined up. We've got... Um, Everyone from folks that run uh, diecast stores like uh, Diecast Extreme in Coleman, Alabama, is going to be on there. We got the folks over at uh, Diecast Heroes, Tony and Carmen. Uh, they're amazing, and um, they have been doing some really awesome stuff in the big car world and the um, little car world. Love this Tamika, by the way. It's it's small, but I, I still love these old coronets. Um, we've got. Uh, Nice gentleman out of Indonesia um, that's got a, a Jakarta diecast project, I believe it's called. You might have heard of him. He's going to show up on the show. We've got a bunch of really other cool guests um, that have lined up. Diecast dude, um, you know, and just a chance for you to get to know um, some of the people that are making the culture what it is in a setting that you wouldn't normally get to see them. So, uh, so that's it. So there's the three sections. There's the news. Uh, so, you know, any news or things that you're excited about, uh, please let me know. Um, you can email me at flyingvaliant at gmail.com or you can email diecastbreakdown at gmail.com. Um, this one I had when I was a kid, actually. I brought this up in, recently in an episode, and this is the nicest one I've seen uh, outside of a package. I got this one to customize, and now I don't want to. This is too nice. Oh my gosh. Wow, that one takes me back. Um, Second section, round table. Things like getting started in collecting, how to, how to customize, how to hunt, how to um, do weathering, how to uh, display your die casts, how to sell your die casts, uh, those kind of topics. Uh, eager for uh, suggestions there. Uh, looking for guest co-hosts to come on at that section. Uh, we'll be usually recording Wednesday evenings. Um in uh, U.S. times, we try to balance because, uh, you know, David is Central Time, I'm Eastern Time, and uh, Mark is Pacific Time. So uh, so we kind of find balances there. I love this, by the way. This is a Johnny Lightning project in progress uh, with little jump seats in the back, Dodge A100. Um... <laughs> This one I got because it was super cheap and it was damaged. And then the third section will be uh, diecast influencers. So uh, interviews with them, what they love about diecasts, what the car culture means to them, and uh, what they're doing in the in, in the world of diecasts. So we're basically looking for guests that have interesting stories. Um, we want to be talking to folks from. Uh, the, uh, that are we want to talk to die, diecast designers. We want to talk to folks that work for the toy manufacturers and um, and talk to them about um, stuff. And, and now I'm realizing why Jeff sent these in separate boxes because these are way nicer than I thought they were when I bought them because they were priced so affordably. I was like, ah, oh, they can't be as nice as they look. They are. Oh dear. So uh, this is the junk pile, by the way. I have no idea what's in here. So that's really exciting. Um, so anyway, uh, enough of me yammering on that, but, uh, if, uh, you know, I, I hope you'll stick around. I hope you'll punch the subscribe button and the bell so you can see what happens, but, you know, pay attention because this channel is going to change. I'll be trying to, you know, make as much uh, noise about it as possible. So people are not left in the dark. If you don't see this, uh, that's interesting. Old Delta 88, uh, stock car. It's way too big for 164. That is interesting. That's an old Matchbox super fast. Rally Royale. That's cool. Definitely don't know that one. Um, 
Jeff, you have outdone yourself. These are uh, a lot nicer than the total junkers that I was expecting to get. You know, we'll see. I haven't gotten that far in yet. Um, uh, so yeah, let's see. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Oh, that's cool. I didn't realize this thing had a drop down clicky thing. Um, but yeah, how are you? Hope you had a nice uh, holiday season and uh, that you're gearing up for a, a wonderful new year. That's cool. A little good humor truck. It's a Larry Wood. Uh, that is one of our goal guests, by the way, is to get Larry on the show. We've uh, talked to a few people who know him, and we're going to be um, trying to get him on. We're going to, you know, we're, sh we're shooting pretty high here. We want to get Magnus Walker on. We want to get, uh, we're shooting for Jay Leno, because he's got uh, a Hot Wheels set coming out this year. Because, you know, why not? doesn't hurt to ask. So, and uh, we know that between all of us, we know enough people who know people, and maybe we can get some introductions made. And, you know, because, you know, we are still pretty much just three guys and we've got, you know, established roots in the community. But, you know, we're uh, looking to see what's next. Those are cool wheels, by the way. It's one of, one of the Matchbox wheels that I actually really like from the main line. That's interesting. So, um... So yeah, love to hear your thoughts on that. Uh, and again, thank you for uh, thinking of us and for supporting all our channels. I'll have the links to uh, theirs in the description below, uh, as well as other ways that you can follow the action. Um, we are going to be uh, converting my Patreon to um, the uh, Diecast Media Network, uh, and that's going to support the builds, the um, podcast, and... Oh, this is cool. I always kind of wanted one of these, and this one is really banged up, so that's perfect for me. So, um, so it, it's going to be, again, just trying to save us from reinventing the wheel when we've already got stuff in place. So, um, so yeah, check that out uh, in the description below. I'm going to be revising all of the uh, the tiers and stuff. I'll be sending out special thank yous to all of the patrons who have made it with me this far. Um, and um, and if they want to stick around, that's awesome. And if not, I totally understand because uh, we are, you know, dramatically shifting focus. And, and that's kind of what I want to do is, you know, as I am gathering more gear and gathering more experience, I want to be able to use my video experience more on this channel and be able to use my uh, broadcasting and my uh, social media and all that stuff all the training I've had there to help make the diecast community better. And I think this is a, a way that I can help, um, you know, scratch that creative itch for me. And at the same time, provide, um, diecast folks like you with stuff that hopefully you will enjoy. Oh, this is cool. Old Ferrari Berlinetta. This is one of those ones that I've liked, but I've never gotten because they're kind of expensive, but this is perfect for, um, actually I have a build in mind for that one. So, uh, and again, please check the description for, uh, for Jeff's, uh, eBay, uh, store down below and, uh, tell him hi for me and, um, you know, support his, uh, his store cause he's a good dude and he is really, uh, helpful in this community. That's cool. These are actual like rubber tires. That's awesome. Do it for Dale. That's what we're going to do. Well, that one's definitely seen better days. That's cool. Smashed up old Thunderbird. Um, so let's see what else is going on. This is neat. That's an old Lesney. Well, the chain drive has fallen off, but it's still there. That will be a really fun custom. I'll look at that. I have some very cool detail. Um, I actually like this, uh, this casting because that metal engine is, is really nice. It's very heavy. There's the old blazer. I like this version because it's got the solid top. It's still got the opening doors. Uh, it's a crane. Uh, Tracy's little friend Isaac loves uh, construction gear, so he's going to love playing with that one. Set aside 
all my construction toys when he comes over. So uh, he thinks it's very cool that Tracy's dad has a bunch of tiny cars. So which is good. It's good to, to feel a little cool. This was one of my favorite cars as a kid, the Flame Runner. Uh, I think I still have mine. But... There's another one of those guys. And that is... Oh, I know this one. Uh, what is it called? Um, I'll leave it in the comments. It's an old... It was a red line and it was a black wall. It's a van. It's got a... It's green and had a really cool tropical design on it. My brother did it for his store. Ah. Oh, Dodge Omni. That's fun. I actually have... A use for this one so that's perfect that is exciting thank you very much Jeff this was a color changer uh, I had this one it turns light blue it was supposed to be white I think but it's really light blue um, yeah oh that's awesome I haven't seen that one in a hot minute um, this one feels like a color changer too it may not be the paint feels like it is yeah, it's got hidden stuff on it. So that's a color changer. And got a few of these guys, the Matchbox ambulances. They're fun. Kind of missing door. Those are great for abandoned dioramas. This was, I think it was called the Vampira. Had this one too, in this, in this version. Um, I think this one is starting to come apart. That's cool. I haven't seen this guy before, but that's cool. He lifts off. He's got some cool engine detail underneath him. Oh, man. I don't remember this one. Can't believe he gave me one that actually still has the nose on it. These ones like, got gnawed off most of the time. And they have these soft things, so uh, when Mom steps on them, she doesn't get mad and throw them away. Oh, that's cool. That is a Corgi Whiz Wheels um, Ford Capri. Don't have that one. I've got plenty of Ford Capris. I've got the Matchbox one, the old one, and the new one. Uh, that's a cool old Hot Wheels top fuel car. That's metal. That's nice. Nissan Hard Body. Got lots of these, but that's because it's a great casting, and I'm always happy to have more. Um, play Art! This is cool. Uh, David, I'm not David. Uh, David and I were talking to Mark about how um, he had just kind of discovered play art. I think uh, David actually sent him a play art 240Z. And uh, Mark was not familiar with play art. It is one of the more obscure brands. I'm still kind of learning what they, um, what they have to offer. Uh, some of their stuff seems really good and some of it seems really bad. They have a Mustang that's really bad. But um, they have a few cars that are actually really nice. Uh, this is the Pontiac stock car from Hot Wheels. Very nice. That one was based on some kind of supercar concept car. Uh, the Dodge D50. I love this casting. High Raker. And it's all complete, too. Very nice. So, yeah, thank you again, Jeff. And if I haven't mentioned it enough already, uh, click the link in the description for uh, Jeff's eBay store. Because, uh, he's a good guy. And uh, I know until 1231, I've got the coupon code Flying Valiant. Uh, so hopefully I can get this up in time for you to take advantage of that one more time. But um, uh, looks like part of something. Pontiac funny car. It's kind of Trans Am y, kind of. Oh, Corvette. That's the Mercedes 540K. Uh, the Alien. HUD heads up display spy. Oh. That was a classic from my childhood. It's another Blackwall era. Not really familiar with this one, but it is a high raker, so that's cool. The 
Thunder Jet. Intercooled. Oh, this Prowler. This is a matchbox. That's cool. Ooh. One of the old Rolls's. These ones, it's very rare you find one that's still got the white top, and this one is missing the windshield as well, but again, not too worried about it. Got an idea for that one. Old Hot Wheels IndyCar type deal. And... This looks like it's Matchbox. Yep. Rollomatic. So this did something. It looks like the it probably had a satellite dish that turned. I think I saw another one of those in here earlier. That's cool. This feels like it's an old GMC truck. Is it a Lesney? It is a Lesney. GMC Tipper truck. So you got an old uh, Co style with the engine. That'll be a fun custom. Wow. Corgi Juniors. That feels quite vintage. Sorry, I'm getting some texts from Mama and Tracy. They're on their way home right now. This is that uh, really cool shark car. I thought this was the coolest thing as a kid. And it's kind of funny now. Tracy thinks it's the coolest thing. Uh, Forget what this one's called, but this one's another IndyCar type thing. This is a modification of the flame. Uh, what's it called? Science Friction. So, it's a different version of it. This is that racer. Sometimes that a Chevy logo on it. I'm curious what it was actually based on because it looks like kind of a 917 type design, but it was, uh, but I know they had a version of it with a Chevy logo on it. This is a Matchbox uh, tractor from the 70s. 1972. It's definitely seen better days, but that's okay. A lot of cool parts on this one. Ah, the, this is a some vet van or something like that. Um, it's got the, this was the Iron Man one, and it's a high raker. Very fun. But, supposed to look like a C3 Corvette down here. You got the taillights and you got the body line and uh, the top is a van. So I should look that one up. I wonder if it was based on a real uh, custom. These are cool. I used to get these at the dollar store back in the day. Uh, they were actually put out by Lionel Trains. Um, I forget what they were called exactly, but I remember that they were owned by Lionel of all things. Um, this is uh, old Corgi Jr.'s fire tender. Cool design. This is the Matchbox Superfast Forklift. This one was actually really cool. I think it actually had multiple sections at one point. I think I go up. No, this isn't the one. There, there was one that had dual section segments, so it actually went up pretty high. Uh, Spoiler Sport. That's what it was. The Spoiler Sport. Um, so, yeah, that's... Uh, oh, there's the rest of it. Haha. -ha. Couldn't see it. You were staring at it and screaming at the camera the whole time. What are you doing? It's right there. Yep, there it is. I see it now. I see it so clearly. So that's fun. There it is. Uh, old Porsche 911. Alrighty. Well, that's fun. We have a few more things in here. I'm trying not to look in the box so I can uh, experience these fresh. Um, so, um, but yeah, and uh, if you're an audio listener as well, the uh, podcast will be out on uh, your favorite audio podcasts platforms as well uh, in audio format. The video version will be a little easier to digest, I think, because we will occasionally have some visual aids, but we are going to keep it pretty um, much uh, discussion-based, so um, so those listening to the audio version won't feel left out. And uh, that's a Z Corvette. That's cool. Kind of reminds me of David's car. 
Uh, this is that Hot Wheels that was a Corgi. Very weird car. Portions are all very strange on it. Uh, there's another one of those weird Hot Wheels indie Formula One type things. Very cool. This looks like it did something. Uh, it pops up. Pops down. Pops up. All right, cool. Probably a McDonald's car. Well, I must have done something. Cool. That was the Hot Wheels. It's classified. This isn't right there on the side. Another great Hot Wheels. I think this is a Yacht Ming. Oh, Zomex. Another good humor trick. Thank you, Mr. Larry. Another Porsche 911. McDonald's caddy. I do enjoy that casting. Um, Dad and Andrew's Garage did a really nice custom on that one. I'll have to link you to that. Uh, Matchbox NASA truck. And uh, I think this is a Rollomatic too. Yeah, it is a Rollomatic. It did something. Oh, the, the pipes. The pipes flat. And then you got that cool lift lid. Oh, wow. That one's really nice. Thank you, Jeff. Um, it's the Porsche 928. That comes up in one of the podcast discussions later. So um, this is the one I'm talking about. If you uh, remember that later. Oh, look, another one. That's cool. Those are both in nice shape. I know this one, it's a Hot Wheels. Boulevard Bruiser. Yeah, that's one of those fantasy ones I actually kind of dig. Um, I believe this is supposed to be, uh, this is the Hot Wheels uh, Plymouth Arrow. Um, Racing Champions. Nice wheels on that one. Part of some construction rig. That's a Kenner Fast Ones. Part of one, anyway. Oh, yes. This is that uh, Renault. Uh, something 17. Yeah, 17 TL. I do love this casting. So. And it's starting to lose one of its A pillars. This one is known for losing its A pillars, but they're still there, so it's salvageable. So that's good. Another one of those weird rocket cars. Huh, another 928. No interior on that one, but it is a metal metal car, so that's nice. Uh, looks like another racing champion stock car. Uh, good Ridge Racing Pit Crew, super fast uh, Chevy van. That's nice. Um, hmm. Matchbox Ford Cargo Skip Truck. Oh. Would have had a skip or a dumpster. It was part of a canvas top to something. That's uh, the Imza Mustang. Very cool casting that I had as a kid. And I still have a few now. Although I lost the hood on mine. Uh, another uh, super fast forklift. Scoop something few uh, miscellaneous pieces in here and we're gonna wrap things up with oh a Triumph TR7 no Fiero interesting I am not familiar with that Fiero casting and I thought I was familiar with Fiero castings so that's cool and a QVC another racing champions truck or NASCAR these are great for wheel donors because you get those cool uh, gold Goodyear Eagle tires so so that's it. We're going to sign things off here. And uh, next time you see this channel, it's probably going to look a lot different. So uh, be sure to like, subscribe, hit the bell, tell your friends to keep an eye out for Diecast Breakdown on the Diecast Media Network. And as always, I want to thank you for coming along with me for the ride. So until next time.
Stay fresh, cheese bags. Your f***ing die breakdown.